5 ways that estheticians treat acne breakouts on themselves and others. As a medical esthetician that has literally struggled with acne, like severely, I wished so bad that there was an esthetician who specialized in acne because, spoiler alert, not all estheticians are specialized in acne. But I want to share some tips from the ones that actually are. I got to meet someone named Alex, Alex Hernandez. She works at a clinic called the Face Reality Acne Clinic where they literally are estheticians who specialize in people who have acne. I got to do a live stream with her back in December. I got to visit the clinic, test out some of their acne-friendly, cruelty-free skincare, and actually ask them the hard questions about lifestyle and about nutrition, about, yes, the things that we put on our face, but also the things that we put in our bodies. Because uh, as you know, if you've been here for any amount of time, a lot of the things that I was putting in my body did contribute to my personal breakouts. That's not the same for everybody, but it was a huge thing for me. And especially as so many people are struggling with acne through the pandemic, through their teens, or even through their young adult and adult years, acne becomes this thing that we feel judged by. We feel frustrated. Sometimes we're afraid to walk out of the house. And sometimes if we've gone through that teenage phase, we feel like we should have grown out of it by now. I mean, look at me, I'm still breaking out and I'm still feeling like I should have grown out of this. <laughs> well, my grandfather had pimples on his face when he died. So unfortunately due to my genetics, I maybe never will. That's why education is here. Now the good thing is that there are many estheticians who do care to learn more about acne, who understand the different types of acne, and what has actually been medically proven by science and by studies in order to treat blemishes. And then Face Reality does have acne clinics and they have acne specialists who go through a training and are certified beyond their regular aesthetic education to actually learn about, understand, and care for acne prone skin. The five things that professionals do to treat their acne doesn't just start with skincare. It starts with an understanding and an explanation of the skin. And that point of actually learning beyond the basics, understanding what actually triggers acne, what might trigger acne for some people, like dairy, whereas other people are totally fine with it, it's very individualized. But if someone's helping with blemish breakout prone skin, it's very important that they know those nuances. And especially if you are paying a person to work on your skin or to give you advice or to help you with these things, you want to make sure that they're versed in the thing that you're actually dealing with. And that's number one. The experts rely on education. If you don't know what you're treating and what you're up against, how are you supposed to fix it? Which brings us to number two, not just having products. Products don't matter. You have to have the right products in the right sequence in a way that actually works for your skin to receive. A lot of acne advice that we get is to overly dry or strip the skin. You know, what is the reason that we go on TikTok and we see these horrible videos of people like putting straight up alcohol or lemon juice on their face? It's literally because that's what people did 10, 30, 50 years ago because they didn't know better. They didn't have the right products. Now we actually have products and advanced formulas that don't have to dry out our skin. And when I was speaking with Alex, she told me the story of how she got involved in aesthetics in the first place. She actually had family members who struggled with their acne and were using these drying stripping things. And as she became an esthetician, she was like, wait a minute, this isn't right. <laughs> you shouldn't be stripping your face. You should be supporting it and even hydrating it at times. This right here is the moisture balance toner for dehydrated skin. And this is a phenomenal option for people who literally have dry skin and acne, which if you want want a video on, I feel like we need to do one. Because a lot of people who have oily skin and acne, there's some good products out there. But if you have dry skin and acne, a lot of people are kind of left out to dry, literally. This has glycerin, this has proline, this has sodium gluconate, and yes, it has a small amount of alcohol and witch hazel, but it actually helps this product penetrate into the skin. And this is fine for dry skinned people. This is phenomenal as a balancing toner, and it also works extremely well under this sunscreen. This sunscreen is the Daily SPF 30 Lotion, and this is a sunscreen that is made for acne prone skin. This protects the skin. This doesn't overly strip it or overly dry it, but it also doesn't make you oily if you are prone to that oil. And as someone who is literally oily and sweaty, let me show you how that works right about now. It blends in so smooth and flawlessly because it does have those chemical slash organic filters. And it has ingredients such as macadamia, green tea, and allantoin that help to soothe the skin. Especially if you have acne, one of those key pillars or key components is inflammation. That's why whiteheads kind of look like little volcanoes on the skin. And if you use different ingredients such as antioxidants or calming ingredients that help to decrease potential inflammation or as antioxidants that fight against free radicals, your skin can be better supported. And remember, the sun is a huge cause of damage and free radicals. And we don't need that if we have acne, especially if it's turning our acne blemishes into scars or into hyperpigmentation. That is why SPF is what? Your BFF. And I spoke with Alex and she agrees. And let me just tell you, this is like a huge warning sign and red flag. If you ever go to an esthetician who tells you that sunscreen is not important, do not let them be your esthetician, okay? 
Okay, like right there. That is the question number one. That is how you vet them as if to, do they actually know what they are supposed to know? <laughs> Speaking of dark spots or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation that can be left behind, experts know that acne isn't over once the blemish is gone because you still might have a mark, you still might have pigmentation, you still might have a scar. And acne, in the mental sense of I'm struggling with my skin, isn't over until you're able to get over that as well. And there are some very interesting ways that Alex and her team at Face Reality does, which we're going to talk about in just a second. But one way that can be done over the counter is with mandelic acid. Mandelic acid is an amazing ingredient. It comes from from bitter almonds. And there's lots of products that I love that have mandelic. It's an AHA, so it's water soluble and it's more hydrating. So it actually goes onto the skin and it doesn't overly strip. But not all mandelic acid is created the same. And this is where we get into chirality in chemistry. When it comes to chemistry, you can think of different molecules as having shapes, right? And you can think of them as shapes of a hand. If I take one hand and try to put it right here, it's not gonna be the same, right? This is the concept of chirality. You have different molecules in different shapes. And depending on if you have something that is decreased chiral or L chiral, these shapes are different and it impacts how they bond and how they work. And yes, that involves how they work in the skin. This right here is specifically L mandelic acid. This L stands for the chirality. And this mandelic acid serum at 8% is potent and effective, but it's gentle. It's penetrating and non-stripping. And I've never seen a brand that actually lists what chirality their molecules are. I absolutely love this. They do have other uh, strengths as well. I think they have something that's less and even something that's more. And they actually have an entire array of skincare options. I literally only have like five different products because that's what I've tested and tried. But the El Mandelic products that I've used from them are amazing. And I will say, this is probably the best Mandelic acid serum that I've ever used. Just because it penetrates into the skin there's science behind it. When I actually put it on, I do see the results. And I see the results as someone who has like a Fitzpatrick type two skin. And yes, my blemishes do tend to leave a little bit of redness behind, but this also exfoliates without overly stripping and my face loves this. But what's super important is that when smart estheticians actually work on breakout blemish prone skin, they don't just throw a bunch of new products in at once. They actually work with you or they work with what you've got. For instance, if you have a skincare routine and you're changing out a whole bunch of different products all at the same time, your skin might freak out and you won't know which product or which change made that freak out happen. That's why acne experts know to either switch out all the products all at once. So you're basically flipping an entire regimen that you're using, like a completely new routine, or you're switching out things one at a time to see what actually works. That's what I did with the sulfur spot treatment. This is amazing. I really feel like sulfur is an unsung hero. And of course they have other products like the clear derma wash. They have a benzoyl peroxide body wash, which I still use on my body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. But overall the acne experts know that you need to work in terms of what you've already got. If you've got a solid routine and you just need a good sunscreen and a good Mandelic serum, you need to switch out those things. We're not out here, you know, switching up Kylie's skin with some walnut scrubs, okay? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And speaking of products, we have to call it as it is. A lot of estheticians, being estheticians, literally have access to advanced treatments. And yes, one thing that estheticians do to help with their own acne and blemishes on both themselves and others are those advanced treatments. We're talking chemical peels, we're talking different LED light therapy. In some cases, we're even talking add-ons like microcurrent devices or radio frequency. And a lot of these treatments have to be done in professional clinics, either dermatology clinics or a place like Face Reality. And again, this is where things got exciting. I actually had a chance to go out to the East Bay where they're located and I actually visited their clinic to see all of the tech and products that they have and all of the treatments that they do. It was such an experience and so fun to actually see a clinic that focuses on acne and even the walls of their clinic had this beautiful artwork that showed different skin colors, different skin tones and really was indicative of a population who struggles with acne as a whole. Alex also showed me some amazing before and afters of people who have struggled with their acne that they have helped. And just hearing the stories of other people who have gone through that. It really, you know, kind of brought me back to what it felt like to have acne. And I was so sad that I didn't know of Face Reality when I was struggling. Face Reality has been around in San Leandro for 16 years, and now they're in a town called Danville. And I think that that's the only in-person location, unfortunately. The good news is that the estheticians who have gone through their acne specialist certification are actually nationwide. So literally in every state, as long as they've gone through that training. And then their products, I do think they ship to other states and they might even ship to other countries, but I don't know, because I'm not them. Oh, and they have 
merch. Fun fucking fact, they have merch. And that's also something that's super important, is making sure that your mindset around acne is right. If you're hating yourself in the mirror every day, you can't hate your skin into looking better, and you can't hate your skin into treating you better. Understanding that blemishes, breakouts, and acne is literally a condition that so many people go through, and that there are things that can be done over the counter to help, it's just so important to know that we have hope and to stop judging ourselves. In the words of a face reality sweatshirt, let's focus on pores, not perfection. <laughs> now this is where it also starts to get extraordinarily interesting and where 16 year old me is crying because I didn't know this. Face reality actually focuses on nutrition. Yes, finally, there are acne aware, licensed people out there that actually note how nutrition can impact the skin. And what's so important is that nutrition is not one size fits all. Something that tastes delicious for me is gonna taste gross to someone else or something that breaks me out like dairy is going to be totally fine for someone else. The acne specialists are actually trained in that and actually understand that. And one way that estheticians work to get great skin is understanding that what we put in our bodies is what our bodies use to build new skin cells. And if we don't put things that nourish our bodies in, it's going to be a little bit harder to get really good results out. And again, this is not a blanket statement, which is what I was speaking about with Alex. And she took me through how she actually works with someone to discuss their nutritional needs. This is very different than a dietitian. Like a dietitian would give you an eating plan. Face reality doesn't do that, but they do help you understand and identify what are things that maybe do or don't sit well with you. They encourage you to actually be aware of and track some of the different things that have caused breakouts for others. And they actually have an entire list of different things that they do and don't recommend based on what other people with acne struggle with. And this is also why it's so important to make sure that you're getting a personalized approach. You know, if you just go online and you type in a blog post and you're like, oh, I'm gonna stop eating all bell peppers because they break me out. <laughs> maybe that happened for one person, right? That's anecdotal, but it's not until we look at populations and studies that we can actually see if something will or won't work. And bell peppers are a great source of vitamin C. And Face Reality has actually dug into that research. And so while it's not medically proven, this list is anecdotally and backed by some studies showing what is more likely to cause acne in certain people. And if you're someone who is really struggling, this can be a great place to start. And there's things like dairy on here. Uh, I don't personally eat fish or marine products, but algae and marine products are something that they do recommend. And when it comes to nutrition, just having a balanced diet is one component of having health overall. And what is our skin? Well, it covers us overall. And by eating and drinking things that nourish our body, our skin is going to be better off for it. And we can't talk about diet without talking about lifestyle. Exercise is so important for circulation and for health. But if you're sweating and if it's blocking up your pores, maybe it could cause more breakouts. And for certain people who use exercise as a punishment for themselves, as opposed to a joy, a pleasure of moving your body and embracing what your body can do for you. I mean, it lets you dance, it lets you hug. Our body carries us through every day. Just the way you approach exercise can have a huge impact on your body and your mental health. And there have actually been studies that looked at this. There was a study where they tracked the fitness of housekeepers. And in one group of housekeepers, they just said nothing and let them work. And in the other group, they actually educated those housekeepers on the benefits and the exercise benefits of movement. And just that mindset changed caused the people in the group that were educated to actually build more muscle. Some of them lost weight and they became healthier overall. And just understanding how exercise can impact our body and how little things every day can support us with our circulation and our health otherwise is so important. And lifestyle also touches on things like laundry detergent. For me, it was just such a shocker to realize that my laundry detergent was irritating my skin. I didn't understand why on hot summer days when I would sweat, my skin would get itchy and I would actually have breakouts in the literal line of my tank tops. And it wasn't until I switched up my laundry detergent that I realized I was irritated by the fragrance. And when I would sweat, it would mix with that residual detergent and freak out my skin. Ah, why did nobody tell me that for literally years? I was an itchy bitch. I was an itchy bitch, okay? When Alex started talking to me about laundry detergent, my jaw hit the floor and I could have cried tears of joy. It's like, finally, somebody who actually gets it. And when it comes to intelligent estheticians treating breakouts on themselves and others, yes, the lifestyle components, the things such as laundry detergent and even your pillowcase, all of those things, while they are not top line first action treatments, can have an impact on your overall body and health. And that's also part of the difference of just trying to treat blemishes and breakouts over the counter by like going to a drugstore and just picking up random bottles off the shelf versus seeing someone like an esthetician or preferably an acne specialist who can actually help guide you, walk you through these and then build a protocol. Maybe it includes those drugstore products or if those drugstore products are St. Ives and Kylie's walnut skin, then we can look at some other options. But that is how the process is so much different when you work with someone who's actually giving you that customized care and giving you something that is built based on your habits, your 
personal needs and the condition that your skin is in. Acne is also something that, hi, I'm literally living testament of. It can happen throughout your life. But for me, my acne now is very different than the way my acne used to be. Because over the past literally 12 to 13 years now, oh my God, time flies. The 12 to 13 years since I went to aesthetic school, I've literally learned and educated myself and worked on my skin to understand it and live with it and embrace it instead of attack it. And when I got to meet Alex and see what she did at Face Reality, I realized like this is an adaptive approach from their side as well. It's literally week by week. And sometimes that's how progress is, right? I feel like in society, we're so used to and conditioned to like these fast TikToks and fast results. We just want a pill that's gonna solve it, right? And sometimes pills and medications can be very, very helpful. But usually when it comes to the things that matter, I mean, think about the hardest thing that you've overcome in your life or the hardest thing that you've done or the thing you're most proud of. It was probably something that took a bit of work and time right? And those things do take time and dedication and an adaptive approach. And although overcoming acne, I, I don't think is anybody's 100% life goal, it's definitely an important milestone of not letting your skin dictate the way you feel about yourself and the way you approach the world. And just watching Alex work magic with her hands and speak with such passion about what she's learned and the things she does, and hearing the stories of people who have gone through this and come out on the other side, learning to love and embrace their skin and literally work towards pores, not perfection, it gives me hope for 16 year old me that didn't have that. And I hope that these five tips give you hope that yes, this is what estheticians do to treat breakouts on themselves and others. And these protocols and tips and insights are available for you too. So always remember to be beautiful both inside and out. If you'd actually like me to go to face reality and maybe live stream a treatment or see if we could do something with them, please let me know. It was such a pleasure having them invite me out to their place in the East Bay and, and to get to go explore it and to work with them on this video. And the live stream that we did back in December, if you want to go watch that, it's on our Acne Warriors Facebook page. But if there's anything else that you wanted to ask Alex, I wonder if she would be willing to be a guest on the channel or something because I had such an amazing time speaking with her because I really felt as if she understood what I had gone through. She was speaking to 16 year old me and you know, when I was 16, I needed so desperately to be heard, and I wasn't. People looked me not in the face, but in the acne, right? And um, in Alex's presence, all of that changed. So a huge thank you to her, and a huge thank you to you to making it to this point of the video. Make sure that you smash the likey likey. Make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you stay hydrated, both orally and topically. Please don't drink this, even though it is hydrating. Please don't drink it. Do remember to reapply your SPF because it is your BFF, and always be beautiful both inside and out. I love you guys, and I can't wait to see you in the comments and in this next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.